Welcome back, everyone. Last episode we made a lot of machinery for trying to get some epoxy. We used the oil rewarded from a quest but we could not get enough epoxy for completing a quest using just that oil. The reason why we don't have any oil is because it can only be found inside the bedrock, however, the vibrations from a mining drill or even a pickaxe often cause the tunnel to collapse. To make the research more manageable, we are going to craft something special. Try to guess what it is during this crafting sequence. And we finally have it, a tool that does not produce vibrations and melts the stone, thus preventing it from falling. We only have to charge it before using it. Pro tip, remove the other batteries next time. Now we can finally mindlessly mine, however, we still have to play slips and the battery is kinda weak. So we are going to have one more crafting sequence.
And there we are. Ready for mining. Once we have cleaned a lake of oil, the bedrock sprouts will emerge. These are the exit points of some channels of oil that will keep replenishing oil from deeper deposits. To move the oil to our base, we could use some long distance pipelines, however, these are tungsten gated and we can't work tungsten yet. So, for the moment, we are moving it using drums. We need some of its products for making plastics. We are probably going to use the others for fueling engines that make RU or KU with higher efficiency. But that's a story for the next episode. Bye bye.